Ahoy babies, it's Sansa Glatte, and welcome back to Outlast. Okay, so, uh, is it really loud? I don't think it's really loud. Ah, uh, what was I gonna say? I have no idea what I was gonna say. Okay, okay, oh my gosh. Oh, it's so loud. Uh, pick one of these up. Documents. God of Monsters. No to all personnel from consultant MM008. Rudolf Wernicke, DBNR. Do not worship the swarm, do, nor allow the delusions of the patients to influence your beliefs. Any sentient being based on this technology will be so far superior to us that illusions of godliness will be reasonable. We have always looked into the chaos and called it God. We are we now are blessed with sufficient power that such belief could destroy us. Do not be tempted for memory the scientists. Okay. Okay. Restricted area. Okay. <clears throat> okay. This looks like something. Which one of these do I turn off? This one looks weird. Your objective turn off the valve for life support. Oh gosh, okay. <clears throat> Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh my gosh. Billy Hope. From Billy's patient reports, he ought to be 23 years old. He looks at least 50 years of... He looks like at least 50 years of rough road, pain, scratch deep into what I can see. Killing you would be an extra practice. Okay. So. <clears throat> oh, battery. Okay, what do, I, what do we do? What do we do? Is there some sort of switch? So that's where I came from. I haven't been here yet. Life support fluid res reservoir. Okay. It's saving. Where's the switch? Personal records of Dr. Wernicke, Frankenstein, or Robert Professor by <laughs> I'm so bad at pronouncing that. By Mary Shelley, published anonymously in 1818, Chapter 4, excerpt. Learn for me, if not by precepts, at least by my example. How dangerous it is. Er, how dangerous is the <laughs> acquirement uh, of knowledge. How much happier that modest that modest man than he who aspires to become greater than his nature allows. Okay. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. 
turn off the electric supply from the sub lab generator. Uh, would I do such a thing? Oh no. Ugh. Get out of my way! Get out of my way! I had a feeling I wasn't done with that dude. Okay. There, need to turn off. Valve. Okay. What do I do? Cut off electrical supply from the sub lamp generator. Okay, I think. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Uh, why can't I get down there? Wait! Where's the sub lamp generator? Eh, stop it! Okay. Sub lamp generator. It does not look like it's in here. Generator. Is that it? Oh my gosh! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! There's a document! <laughs> okay, what did the document say? Morphogenic energy chamber. Cautions. Mark off psychiatric systems, morphogenic engine chamber maintenance schedule. To avoid patient injury, the morphogenic engine light pod requires a daily inspection of all vital systems. Vital system 1. The rich oxygenated perfluorocarbon perf carbon from the life support fluid reservoir. Must be continually flushed, replaced, and replaced through the course of the patient's treatment. Note that OP also supplies anesthetics. Any interruption in supply will cause sufficient pain to the patient to potentially disrupt the experiment. Final system 2. Electrical supply is supplemented and insured by the sublight generator. Proper feeling and maintenance of the sublight generator should be confirmed hourly. Vital system 3. In, case, in the case of catastrophic loss of vital systems 1 and 2, the light pod, pod failsafe will engage maintaining localized minimum life support functions until technicians can arrive. Disabling failsafe will result in immediate, in, in immediate patient termination. Okay, I think that's... Could be this? I see something. Doesn't open. Okay, what, 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 what am I supposed to do? Okay. Imagine I just go up the stairs. <laughs> well, I did something wrong there. <laughs>
Oh, Billy's life pod fail safe. Yeah, this is the way back. How do I disable it? Objective, get out. We can make it. We can make it. We finished the game. Okay, so my official review was that was freaking awesome, man. Oh my gosh, I love that. Oh. Okay, so yeah. I'm glad I kept playing tonight. I was, I was, I just, I really wanted to finish the game. I really wanted to. Play it. I don't know. It's it's a fun game. There's so much to explore in it, and just so much that you don't see coming.
Oh my gosh, I love the music at the end. It's just, it's ominous, but it's nice. You know, it's just like ominous, but it's like, like that, I don't know. <sighs> I always like to let the credits roll, you know, so everyone involved in the game, you know, just gets a little more recognition, you know. What if there's anything else at the end? I don't think there's a DLC for it, and I don't know if I have that or if, like, you know, on Xbox, so I may, I may play it. No idea, but I definitely want to play more games like this. You know, I just, I like it. It's, it's, it's a game that you just get immersed into. Um. Oof. There are a lot of credits, let me tell you. Oh, the music ended. Did I accidentally turn down the volume? No, okay. Okay. I want to see if there's anything else at the end. Possibly a little cutscene, maybe? <gasps> nope. Okay. Well, that was Outlast, okay? It was really fun, and I enjoyed every second of it. So, for now, you have to go, but until I'm supposed to say, I know you and your pirate crew.